combat isn't just about strength. You need... You there. Look... That's right. Anything specific for you? Huh? Quite special. 
shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no, way! That shocked all of Guanglong? Was all because of you? Rover saves the day yet again! With the Trinodian defeated, our Sentinel and the Jinzhou Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. While there's so much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At 
long last. We can finally have some fun. Hey, what better time to celebrate than the moon chasing festival, right? You, me, Yan Yang, and Baicha, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chinchou, happening only on the night of the festival. There's so much to eat, drink, play, and see. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. I know a spot that has the perfect view. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Then it's a deal. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. Shoot, we got so distracted with everything else, I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. You won't want to miss it. That's right. Remember when I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. A few years ago, Jin Jo had endless rain. Yan Yan wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. The Moon Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. Maybe there's something to the Wishing Tree's magic after all. Maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the wishing tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. You saved the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Plays, I'm out. All right. Better get to it before we chatter ourselves away again. The wishing tree is just up ahead. Off you go! We've already made our wishes. Mine's for the Moonlit Fair to draw in a huge crowd and for everyone to have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. She, uh, eh, she's not really into wishes. Don't mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There! You're the last one left! Oh, and don't forget about Abby! I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. Hmm, I don't ever want to be hungry. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, what did Abby say? Well, after you finish at the wishing tree, come see us at the moonlit fair. Shizia and I will be helping out with preparations. <laughs> I'll be over at Qingxi's moon shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give you a sneak peek. Functioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. Uh. It looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. One of its parts must be broken. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof! <laughs> Before you know it, someone makes them come true. You can even say it's part of the wishing tree. But wishes made at the lodge are more... public. It's up to the wisher if they want to share. Anyhow, I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. Maybe that's where you should start your search. The Moon Tree Lodge. <laughs> Might as well drop by if it's at the Wishing Tree. Gotcha. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Qian Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Performing onboard diagnostics. Number 231. Onboard diagnostics failed. Faltering switches. Waiting for a bright of future. Glory on the battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep, beep. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. Well... Correction, four. Wishes and solutions? Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? And Xiangli Yao. The name sounds familiar. Perhaps. Isolating of normal data. Running data correction? There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. 
It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for turning him to me. Yes, I've heard a lot about you from my colleagues at the Academy. Many of them are eager to meet you. I hope their enthusiasm hasn't been too overwhelming for you. Xiang Li Yao, a pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle at the Norfall Barrens. This year's moon-chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. I'm afraid I'm not the owner of the Moon Tree Lodge. I'm just here to assist, collecting and trying to fulfill everyone's wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. We imagine how disheartening it would be for people to learn their wishes were granted by a single person. I just want to do something within my power to pass on the joy we've all felt at least once in our lives. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy. What will you taste like? Important guest. Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, may I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? It's not far from here. Welcome. I, I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. And we cannot accept new wishes at Moon Tree Lodge until I resolve the issue. I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. Take your time. We still have a little while before the Moon Chasing Festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward data error. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. 
It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes, pinpointing the source of the discrepancies. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root cause of these anomalies. But before that, I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. With careful planning. It does have its challenges, but everyone's hopes and dreams for the festival are in these wishes. I don't intend to let them down. Yes, Yang Yang and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. <laughs> I see. Thank you. Well then, the Moon Free Lodge welcomes its newest member. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Shanley, Yao, and Patty, wish it come true. Organize Moonlit Fair. Yes, the lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair but it still remains an important element of the festivities. The market vendors like to tailor their offerings according to everyone's wishes. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair, and preparations are well underway. Perhaps some of your friends will be among those attending. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. Combat isn't just about strength. You need s You there. No rush. The impatient... Huh?
is it compulsory? My turn already? 